David and David here to tell you about the best headphones under $500. We've got 10 pairs on the table. We listened to eight tracks, tested for portability, durability, and comfort. We've spent over $8,000 testing headphones over the last six months, so we really hope that you can trust our reviews. Pretty much we're talking about consumer-grade headphones here, except for the AirPods Max, which are more than $500. And so it's also, pretty much everything else, yeah. but not audiophile headphones, which go way up in price. Yeah, AirPods Max wouldn't have made our top 10 anyway. So. No, it would not have. Let's dive in. Number 10. Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds. Now, these are my favorite earbuds when we tested them out about six months ago. Pretty comfortable, I must say. In terms of style, I can barely hear you. We tried them again. There might have been like a firmware update that screwed them up a little bit, but they just weren't as good. Still really solid. Yeah, though. great headphones. They, they went from about a 4.7 out of 5 for me to a 4 out of 5 for me. Yeah. They lacked a bit of bass, and they just lacked a little punch in the high end for me. Uh, but still, really good clarity, the Bose quality clarity, very good headphones for just under $300. I'm a big fan of how comfortable they are. I like the little wing tips so you can stick right into your ear. It feels great. These are so comfortable. Yeah. I love these headphones. If you look at your fiance, yes. your wife, with the amount of love that you I show know. for these headphones. For right, David likes those style of headphones, yeah. which makes sense. It's good. All right, number nine, let's get 10 out of here. Number nine are the pair of Sonys that we tested about six months ago, the on-ear headphones. They're only $130, but they are a great value. They have great sound, very smooth, kind of a four out of five. Mm -hmm. In terms of quality, they're not quite there, but it's $130 headphones. And we've tested about 50 pairs of headphones here. It's not like we just, you know, are ranking our 10 that we've tested. Yeah. So yes, it's under $500, but these deserve to be at number nine. In terms of definition, I thought that they were pretty excellent. Extra bass. They were about my top three, maybe not you know one or two, but they were definitely up there in the price. But to, top three for the on-ear category, top right? Top three for the on-ear category. Not yeah. for the- not for, not for overall. No. Right, exactly. <laughs> number eight, Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. I was really impressed by these because I was really not impressed by the Buds Live and the Buds Plus. Buds Plus, right. They were really bad, so I you know, had low expectations for these and Right, and wow. we did a blind test, yeah. too, of all these headphones, so we would be unbiased. And wow is right. These sound great. They also, I think, are extremely Super comfortable. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they beat the AirPods. They beat the AirPods Pros. Yep. I would go with those. I'm an Apple guy usually, right? Yeah. Well, we but, did our top three. These might be my number one, number one or two yeah. overall. So I really like these headphones. $199, yep. good price on these. Mm -hmm. we'll love them. Great. Yeah, let's get them out of here though. Because yeah. we're going to talk about love number them. seven. See you later. See you later. Number seven, Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2 earbuds, which we reviewed about six months ago. They sound fabulous. Mm -hmm. I thought that they might be a little bit much on the treble in a couple of songs, but overall, very comfortable. They're the in-ear style, so David doesn't like them as much, yeah. but I like them. These ones really did a good job of getting the spacious feel from the Kronos Quartet. Shell out the money for them, you won't be disappointed by them. But they're not here, so. They're on the, yeah, but hey. You've just watched a clip of us testing yes. them. Number six. Number six, Sennheiser. Momentum wireless over-ear headphones. These were requested mm -hmm. by people in the comments section. So we do read your comments. We do test headphones. You say, hey, test these headphones. I thought they were very good. Yeah. They're a great pair of headphones, but I had some issues with them. The noise cancellation. There's noise canceling, but it's not very impressive, is it? No, I didn't, I didn't even know there was noise canceling. There, I think there is. It's just not good. That was kind of the thing that stopped it from being like a top three over ear for me was mm -hmm. the audio quality is pretty good. Yeah. Noise canceling, not great. Not great and not too comfortable for yeah. me. I just really was not too impressed with the comfortability. I think these were the headphones that came with the warning. Yeah, the, the, the warning, like, don't, you know, yeah, if you, if stick your finger You in. can cut your finger off yeah. if you use these the wrong way. Any headphones that have to come with a warning that you might injure yourself by using them, mm -hmm. I don't know. Definitely don't give these to a kid. Very good sounding headphones. Yeah. These were kind of what we expect from Sennheiser, unlike their lesser expensive ones. Yeah, we're not good. For, okay. Number so, five. Number five. What is yeah, it? We're getting to some good headphones now. Yeah. Cream so, of the crop here. Creme de la creme. Both sport earbuds. I love these earbuds, kind of like with the Quiet Comforts, they got the little tip. And we tested these six months ago. The bass was extremely heavy, and I think that, was, again, it was a firmware update that kind of toned down the bass a little bit, and right. it's improved the sound quality overall. Yeah, they always had great clarity. It was just the bass was overpowering before. Firmware update, Bose just pushed one out, and they sound great. Yeah, these I mean, are also cheaper than the Quiet Comforts, and if I had to pick between them, I would pick the sport earbuds. Right, they don't have active noise canceling like the Quiet Comforts do, but they go in your ear really 
snugly. Yeah, this feels like they're making them for my ears. Oh, have we got a surprise for you, David. Come on in, Bose executives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we did make them for your ears. Yeah, that'd be great. I would pick these too. That passive noise cancellation because something's in your ear. Right, because this is this is passive noise cancellation. Really great headphones. Yes. So number four, Audio Technica ATH XM50 BTs or M50 XBTs. We tested these four months ago and we were blown away by the quality for $199. Again, another pair of headphones that belongs in the under $500 category. Like we're not just putting it here. Mm. They just sound great. I was blown away. Yeah. I think they're just, you know. They're really good, and the price point was a bit lower than the other top tier mm -hmm. headphones that we tested, and they were just. Right. I thought solid. excellent definition, if anything, a little bit too trebly in some places, but not offensively trebly. These are the consumer line, $200. I would be very curious to hear what the high end sounds like. These sound pretty good. I, I was very impressed with these. You know, we think about the Audio Technica, the earbuds we tested were really bad. We were kind of concerned, you know, consumer grade. Audio yeah. Technica is made for the audiophiles. Is it going to hold up in the consumer grade level? It did, it did. in the on over ear category. It did for these headphones, didn't Not for, the for the earbuds. That's for sure. Number three, Sony WH1000XM4s. And this is where David and I are going to start fighting. Okay, right? Because my yeah. number one is not going to be yours. So, Sony XM4s for me are the number three choice. Fabulous noise canceling, but as good as the Bose? Nope. Sony people are getting angry at me right now. They were they were almost as good. Almost I mean, the audio as good. quality is really good. Mm -hmm. Noise cancellation is still good. Yep. The comfort is awesome. I, one thing I prefer about the Sony's to the Bose 700 is just the way they adjust. The Bose has a little slider, has a little, little antenna. It's kind of weird. These are just the clicks. I like the clicky ones, not the uh, antenna ones. I, yep. like, I like those. Oh, these are a solid pair of headphones in every way. Really good. I really enjoy these. If you're a nerd, if you like customizing headphones with the app and you want the most control you could possibly get in a well-built app, Sony's are the way to go. I think that they sound great. Mm -hmm. It was hard to find stuff wrong with these, but they landed in the 4.5 category yeah, really, for me. Really right. excellent. Now, number two for me are the Bose noise canceling 700s. These are... David's number one, I think, right? Yeah, number one. I mean, yeah. this would be number one, and the Sony's would be number two for me. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I thought that sometimes if I'm trying to find something wrong with these, mm -hmm. it would be that they might be a little bit light on bass sometimes, but I was really stretching at this point. We listen to eight tracks every time we test yep. these. I think that on the classical song, I think they did the best job of really capturing the richness of yep. that song, but they're not just for classical music, trust me. They just sounded very balanced, uh, just exactly what I want in a pair of headphones. And that's why after we tested all the headphones last time around, I kept these and these are my headphones. Yeah, really excellent noise cancellation. Super comfortable, super light. I agree with your point about the bass. There are a couple of tracks I said just a pinch more. Right. Would have been, you know, a five out of five. So instead of got a 4.75 out of five, but really. Right. So this is David's number one. And my number one overall are the Sony XM4 earbuds. I can't say enough about how great these are. If you like earbuds, these are the best ones in the world to buy. Fabulous noise canceling, fabulous fit for me, but David had an yeah. issue with that. Well, I don't even know if this would be my top 10 just because they don't really fit my ears. Right. And I wasn't the only person who had this problem. I looked on Amazon and some other people were reviewing it and yeah. saying it doesn't really fit even with the smalls. And I mean, just try them out. I mean, if they fit well in your ears, they're gonna be great for you. If they don't fit in your ears, they're just, they're not gonna be a good option. Right. I will say the noise canceling on these earbuds was amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I think that they sounded great. This was like a solid five. The highest rating I gave of any of the 50 pairs that we tested. David, are we talking about noise canceling at all? We can. We should. It is yeah, ridiculous. We should. Good, like good, right? Amazing. Yeah. They sound fabulous if you like in ear designs, if you're used to that, if you like that. If you don't like that. One well, last pair of headphones I want to mention real quick. This will probably be in the middle of the pack for me, but the uh, Beats Solo Pros, my favorite on ear headphones. They got the mm -hmm. price tag to match. Yeah. We tested these out six months ago and they we didn't weren't like that, them. They didn't like them. They weren't, I think they were actually my least favorite of the ones we tested six months ago. Yeah. I wasn't impressed at all. Far and away the worst $300 headphones that I've ever tested. And I, I think it's the firmware update again and really improved the sound quality in these headphones. It gets the most improved award, that's for yeah. sure. I am a little bit concerned about this, the tightness and the pinching. I pinch. I think over time as you, you know, wear them out and you use them more often, it's gonna get more comfortable. I want to pinch. But right, there's a, there's a firmness to the yeah. ear padding 
that's on the Beats that does, I think, get a little bit less. At least we've seen that in other Beats headphones that David has worn for a long yeah, time. Yeah, I've worn them for six months, and over time, you just get more and more well, comfortable. You, you, you break. Point no pinch. It's like a, a catcher's mitt. You got to break it in yeah. first. Pair of blue jeans. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Boil it. Boil yeah. your, don't boil your headphones. Yep, yeah, don't boil it. Don't oil it. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Don't do anything like that, but wear them. Yes. So <laughs> Those are our favorite <laughs> headphones under $500. Thanks yeah. for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Any thoughts, any headphones you think we should try out? Yeah. Please let us know. Please, please subscribe. Know. Please, please join this channel. Please join the channel. We really would appreciate it. Thank you.